Hello Star Wars fans, this is JAR369, welcome back for another pop review. Today I'll be taking a look at the pop Star Wars The Bad Batch number 476, New York Comic Con exclusive Cat Bane with Toto, made by Funko. Ah yes, another Cat Bane pop, but this time he is based on The, the Bad Batch. Well I do have the one from The Clone Wars. But I, but I still like Cat Bane, one of the best, or one of my favorite Star Wars characters. So I am decided to pick up this guy. He's from the Bad Batch, and I'm really excited that he he is back. He was back in the Bad Batch. Maybe I'll hopefully, if they're gonna bring him back for the live action Star Wars films or TV show, that'll be really dope. So anyway, that's about it. So let's take a look at the box. The box that he's in, just a usual Funko Pop box, but with the Star Wars The Bad Batch style. You get the 2021 Fall Convention exclusive sticker. You can see the window exposing the pop. You can see the image of the product, his name. On the side, you get the full image of the pop. And on the back, you can see other pops you might, you will collect for the Bad Batch pops. And I know there's also the GameStop exclusive 5-pack which I missed out. I probably want to wait until, you know, the whole, you know, if they get, they do like a separate, separate, um, separate packages, just like what they did with the, the Sack Snyder's Just Sleep 4 pack, you know, the metallic ones, black and white. So anyway, that's about it. Let's take out Cat Bane out of the box. Here is Cat Bane with Toto 360 out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the pop. The head sculpt, I would say, they did really a great job with this head sculpt. Even though it is sort of the same as the uh, the um, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Cat Bane pop a long time ago. But still really a not too bad looking head sculpt. I'm not sure if the Comic-Con version has the uh, the little tubes there. I'm well... Well, I'm pretty sure his design from the the Bad Badge is a bit different from his design from the Clone Wars. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm maybe mistaken that these are added later on in the Bad Badge series, or that Cad Bane always had that in the in, during the Clone in the Clone Wars TV show. I don't know, guys. Uh, I don't know. And his hat is pretty much different that that the hat that he wears in the. In the Bad Batch, now it's more like a um, metallic or metal western type hat. You can see some of the scuff marks all over the hat there. Yeah, and you can see some texturing there. And take a look at the body. His outfit is pretty much the different outfit that he that he was other ones wore from the Clone Wars. Yeah, I mean, his outfit from the Clone Wars was cool, but his was really a lot cooler, I will admit. You can see some, uh, the armor, some t details, sculpting details and everything. Some scuff marks all over the shoulder armor. And everything. You can see those are the bullets, I think, blaster bullets, if I'm not mistaken. I have no idea. And I'm guessing these are his holsters on the legs. And the boots there. Mm, you can see some sculpted felt ropes there. And there's like some sort of a shoelace there. And you can see the blaster that he's holding on to it. And there's Toto360. Hey Toto, how are ya? You get the yellow eyes and some of the white scuffs all over the, uh, the face. Yeah. Well, that's it. Well, that's all I had to say about Toto. Oh, hey, look. He does have the rock. The rocket boots on his boots there. Yeah, forgot to mention that. And also you get the display stand. Like every Star Wars display stand. And on the bottom there's some legalese. Overall for the pop itself. I really do love this pop. I would admit. I say Funko did a really great job with the sculpting and details on the pop. And I'm really pretty interesting how Funko added Toto. the um, His companion droid from the Clone Wars. Even though they made the original Cat Bane for 
Comic Con, but they didn't add it to Toto. But finally, in the Bad Patch line, they finally added him to added Toto in the the Cat Bane pop. Overall, I I highly recommend getting this pop for your Star Wars collection. If you already have the um the Cat Bane that Funko made years ago, then it's a easy pass. Or if you want to go ahead, if you're a big Cat Bane fan, but you probably want, and so you may probably want to get the, the this guy as well. Or if you missed out on the um uh, the from the Clone Wars bat from the Clone Wars cartoon Cat Bane pop, then this is a definitely a must have for your collection. And it is exclusively to New York Comic Con, which is a shared exclusive to Target. Yep, Target. Luckily, I went to Target and I found this guy, and I'm very happy to have this guy in my collection. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please like, share, and comment. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on to be the bell notified. The, you know, the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the pop star wars number 476 new york comic-con exclusive cat bane pop with toto 360 both are made by funko and this is jar369 thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on my next review and remember keep on may the force be with you